Okay, let's get right into this. This is the Sega Homestars Matataki versus the Flux. Two very popular units that with some key differences. In terms of design, they're both very similar. They're both spherical and they sit on these little uh, rotating legs, but you can hear the Matataki clicks. And so it's got set positions, whereas the Flux has a more free rotation. The Flux also sits on metal legs, whereas the Matataki is plastic and it has a blue look, whereas the Flux is black. You can see the front, there are mostly the same controls with a couple of key differences. You've got the power, you then have the shooting star, Meteor, you've got movement, rotation, and you've got the off timer, so auto powers off. Where it's different is there's a volume rocker and three buttons. If you've not seen my review, go check that out. I demonstrate what each of those buttons do. Both of these are tray loaders, and if you already have a unit, you'll be pleased to hear that they use the same discs. So it's exactly the same size. You can use one of them in the other's tray. No problem with that at all. That also means you can use one of the many extra discs that are available in either unit. Where they differ is the Matataki has a twinkling star option and that's a disc that sits under the main disc. In terms of power, they're both powered via USB and they both have these round tips, which I find a little annoying. I wish they'd swap them over to USB cables so that it's a bit more common rather than if you lose this cable, you're in trouble. Now, the other major difference is in terms of the light source. The Matataki is three watts, whereas the Flux is five watts. And so the Matataki isn't really a successor to the Flux. It's more of a successor to the Homestar original and that means we're going to have the same debate I've had on previous videos, which is better, a brighter 5 watts or the dimmer 3 watts? That's up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments. So which should I recommend? Well, buy the Matataki if you prefer the softer projection, you want sound effects and music and you want the twinkling. Buy the Flux if none of that's really important and you just want a nice bright projection. They both use the same disc so there's no real difference in terms of number of stars but of course the difference is simply in the brightness. I've got affiliate links down below if you want to check these out further and this isn't the end of the story of course we need to compare the Matataki to the Dark Skies FX.